What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Collect Beard. This go around, we got James Acaster on the absurdity of the British Empire. I've been requested to, re uh, to react to stuff by him before, so finally getting around to it. Let's go ahead and get into it. A long time ago, but not long enough ago, and it's not still very relevant. <laughs> Everyone in Britain got in a big old boat and we set sail and we robbed, and this will sound far fetched, everyone in the world. <laughs> Do you remember that? What a spree that was. Do you remember the great heist? What a spree. <laughs> and we got all the swag, didn't we? And we took it back to old Blighty and we hid it, this is the clever part, we hid it in a museum. <laughs> Last place anyone looks. Yeah, it's always for posterity's sake and stuff like that. Now it's the modern day, and all the countries who stole stuff from are asking for their stuff back. But uh, don't look worried. We're totally saying the blanket, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how that happens. You get conquering nations that, you know, they take stuff from the countries that they once conquered, and then whenever they're asked back for it, you know, and years later. A lot of times it's a it's a resounding no, but again, you know, posterity's sake and all that good stuff, and uh, now it's safe anyway, so. Now, a few of you are sitting there, I can see your angry faces, like, so what? Fighters keepers, shut up! <laughs> and, <laughs> listen, in your defense, fighters keepers, shut up has worked very well for us so far. <laughs> Against all those that have knocked out, out the park, fighters keepers, shut up. But even you've got to admit, right, if someone stole something off you as an individual, it's your favourite thing, and they nicked it, and you knew who nicked it, by the way, for a fact, not a hunch. <laughs> you know who's stolen it. Everybody knows. It's common knowledge. Oh, they're getting stomped like a mud hole. Unless they're like six foot eight, then I'll just go buy something else. Place it, you know? Because it's really tall, and unless you got a two by four or something to bring them down to your level and then beat them in the head. Uh, might not work out so well. Just saying. Of course, this being the exam, you know, the example being concerned of the British Empire and them taking stuff uh, for a small island, Britain might as well be six foot eight. So, some people have written books about it. They have definitely nicked it off you. <laughs> you go to ask for it back, and they're just standing there. They're not even running away. They're twice your size. They ain't scared. They haven't even bothered to hide it. They've done the opposite of hiding it, actually. They put it in a glass display case. <laughs> it's lit from seven different angles, real clear what it is. There's no dispute it's the same thing that once belonged to you, because there's a plaque next to it. It says exactly what it is at the top of the plaque, and then a paragraph underneath about how important it is to you and your culture. <laughs> You'd be forgiven for thinking, mm, I'm pretty sure they haven't got a leg to stand on here. <laughs> Probably going to take this home today. They must have been so confident, all them countries, when they asked for their stuff back, just walking up to Britain, saying to their friends, wait in the car, don't even need you. <laughs> Be back in a jiffy, mate. Hey, man, uh, a while ago, a lot of your ancestors stole loads of stuff from my ancestors? Yeah, I'm here to take them home. Let's write this wrong. What do you say? <laughs> they must have thought the British person at the door was going to go, absolutely, you can have them back. We stole them, after all. But instead, we went, I don't think so. <laughs> We're still looking at it. I love his correlations here. This is too funny. Because put it, putting it down on, like, layman's terms, that's basically what's happened a lot of times. And I, I know it's got to be extremely frustrating course then again i mean i'm sure some countries might have you know constant political upheavals and stuff like that so um you know having the ability to get like something the ability to get something uh back that was taken uh probably be a feather in the cap for some of them but yeah i'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty sure that most of these countries probably know at this point yeah just just if you want to see it go look at it <laughs> Pay your, pay the entry fee, cause pay the entry fee.
Yeah, just looking at it these days. And there's a lot of other people who haven't seen it yet we'd quite like to show it to. So, <laughs> not right now, selfish. <laughs> Don't sulk about it. Look, no, it's no hard feelings, mate. Hey, you can look at it. Come on in, have a look. <laughs> have a look. <laughs> <Seems> familiar? <laughs> <laughs> Stand behind the rope. The British Museum is so busy all the time. No British people ever go in there. It's full of people from abroad looking at their own stuff. <laughs> Swag in the corridors, reminiscing about the good old days. Then I imagine just openly robbing the gift shop at the end. That is one all, you punk. There we have it, James DeCaster on the absurdity of the of the British Empire. His correlations, like completely like at layman's terms where it's like oh crap didn't think of it being that way but he's exactly right it's like having your stuff stolen and being like all right 350 come look at it <laughs> just <laughs> what are you gonna do <laughs> not a whole lot <laughs> not a whole lot because uh like i said it's, it's like getting something stolen by some dude at six foot eight six foot ten seven foot tall and 300 pounds and Britain as small as they are, you know, the UK or, or actually England as small as they are. They're like six foot eight, six foot nine, 300 pounds. And you're not, you're not going to mess with them. You, you know, knock on the door. Can I have it back? No. All right, cool. Thanks. See you later. You try to make another or buy it. <laughs> Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace. <laughs>